All right. So how how familiar are you? Or I guess, did you even know that there was a U.S. flag code? I would say maybe somewhat familiar, like you can fly it in certain directions or it can go in certain directions depending on where and how you're placing it. If it's a sticker or an actual flag or what position it's in, um, can't touch, right. the gra- can't touch the ground, um, disposal methods, that sort of thing. Right, right, right. Proper folding methods, that kind of stuff. Um, that's probably about the extent of it though. Okay. So I don't know why I'm more familiar with it. I don't know if it's from when I was in the military. I don't know if it was just something I came across and was like, oh, that stuff's good to know. But ever since I read it, it's been kind of funny to me how the 4th of July, as it's meant to be a day honoring the country and commemorating the Declaration of Independence Day, um, directly violates the flag code. In what sense? So in the U.S. flag code, Chapter 8, Section I... It says the flag should never be used for advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. It should not be embroidered on such articles as cushions or handkerchiefs and the like printed or otherwise impressed on paper, napkin or boxes or anything that is designed for temporary use and discard. They slap that shit on everything. Advertising signs should not be fastened to a staff or halyard, blah, blah, blah. So what do you... You go to the store and all you fucking see is like paper plates and napkins and that are all, all, all USA that flags, American flag. Yeah. Like around the 4th of July. So we're, we're celebrating us becoming a country by disrespecting the flag. So it's only for things that are, like you said, like temporary and going to get exposed after one use kind of thing. Right. Okay. Well, yes, but also for any advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. So... I mean, if you're driving down the highway, every used car dealership for a lawyer, yeah, every used car dealership in the background is just like a waving American flag (laughs) on the commercial. Like it's everyday occurrences. It's just the irony of the Fourth of July disrespecting it is has always just been humorous to me. Yeah, I think that the ones that we just touched on, like how much do you know about it? I think those are the ones that I think most people are like knowledgeable on, and or will call people out for. And right in some sense, like. I'm not so. going to say like if I drive, if I'm like sitting behind a car that has like a magnet or some kind of sticker or something and it's facing the wrong way, there are people out there that are going to be like, they're going to go up to that car. They're sitting at a red light. They're going to get out and go, your flag's the wrong way. How dare you? Yeah. And that. But yeah. then they're going to go home and they're going to eat off their American flag paper plate and they're going to yep. chuck it in the trash. Exactly. Yeah. I've always yeah. thought it was funny because when it's displayed on like on your shoulders, like a patch. Right. The union's supposed to be facing forward. So I always laugh. Typically, you see in like movies and shit like that, you know, they're wearing whatever knockoff brand clothes and they have a American flag and it's always facing forward. And I'm like, ah, ah, that's wrong. Uh, well, here, let me ask you this. I have a hat right here that when it sits on my head, the union is facing forward. Yeah. So that's right. That's right. OK. That's how it's supposed to be. Although I don't remember what section it was, but there was also something about that. So. Yeah, because that doesn't that have like the, that doesn't have the stars on it. That has it's the brand logo where the stars would be, right? Which is also against the flag code. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I like this hat, so I'm gonna keep wearing it. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing it. <clears throat> and then, so while I was looking for that exact section, I came across section J, which says no part of the flag should ever be used as a costume or athletic uniform. However, a flag patch, blah 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 blah. And that got me thinking: would that be applicable to like the Patriots? logo slash uniform mm, so because my first thought was technically part of the flag it definitely is um i have that maryland flag onesie zip up uniform man thing yeah but they also make that in an american flag would that be the same thing i think that would go more towards not like because i wouldn't say that's like a uniform oh but it says costume so yeah costume, that would right yeah that goes against mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. so another thing that is ironic because they're the Patriots while violating the flag code. <laughs> well, do, so. the, do do codes like that apply to, and I know not every state out there is as prideful as our home state of Maryland, which I would argue is probably the most prideful state for whatever reason. Maryland just loves their flag and their colors and their state. Right. It's, it's just, um, yeah, with, and it's with so those, funny when, when you Google like, like top flags, like top state flags. Maryland's either like one through three or like well, forty eight to fifty. Like I'll be it's honest, never it's like a, middle of the road on any list. It's ugly as shit, 
but yeah, God damn, do we embrace it. I'm literally wearing shorts right now that both sides of the short are the Maryland flag. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like God damn, do we love it. But um, so what I, what I assume your question is going to be, I would imagine every state has their own flag code. Okay. So it's not just in general sense, kind of like, no, that's us flag code. So I don't I think the obvious ones would be, don't let it, I think don't let it touch the ground. It's just a sign of disrespect and yeah. And which that falls kind of under, I know at least for this, there's like a, like chapter eight is disrespecting the flag or, or what like about things not to do. You see it a lot, maybe this time of year, July 4th or like elections and stuff. And like people will put, you know, just like the little American flags on like those wooden doll rods, like just like in their yard, but they put them in and like the flags long enough where it's like scraping against the ground. Like they'll, put, they'll, they'll, they'll like line their whole sidewalk with them and all of them are just like touching the grass kind of thing. Yeah, so that would go against, I think, a few things um, if it does touch the ground. And also, unless it's an all-weather flag, it's supposed to be taken down in inclement weather. And I doubt yeah. those little 50-cent flags are all-weather, and I doubt people are bringing in all 100 of Definitely them when it not. rains. So, Definitely not. But so What about just, something it, like this, like my logo on my shirt? Um, yeah, I think that would violate it, too. I have like six things that have something like this on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's but that's OK. <laughs> so and, and every time I talk about the flag code, it reminds me, I don't know if I told you the story about uh, I lived at the house in Mary Esther and Hernandez was living with us. Mm -hmm. He was he got home from work and he was walking inside like in all his military shit. And there was this dude walking down the street. And I don't know if you remember, I had a Maryland flag and mm -hmm. an American flag out mm -hmm. front of the house. And he said the guy had like stopped him and was like, hey, um, you know, that flag's not spe supposed to be displayed like that. Like it's supposed to be higher than right, the right, flag. Than the state flag. Right. Yeah. And Hernandez was like, bro, I just live here. <laughs> so and he came inside and he told me about it. And I'm like, well, next time that fucking dude walks by, come tell me because it's fun to act like you know what you're talking about, but you got to know what you're talking about. And I pulled it up and chapter seven, section C says no other flag or pennant should be placed above or if on the same level to the right of the flag. Yeah, so so fuck if that they're guy. on the same level, right. it just has to be on the right, which it was. Right. So I'm like, fucking come at me, guy. <laughs> Keep walking your little fucking poodle down the street. But, so yeah, I just think it's, it's funny. Fourth of July, just... They're like, fuck the flag, fuck the code. I think it's those main we're just, ones that, we're trying that, to get that will bread. freak people out. I think it's those main those yeah. main few that are like, how dare you? But yeah, if it's on your shirt or your... And, and our eyes here in America, it's like, oh, that guy is a... He's supporting whatever he's supporting plus the U.S. Or it right. Just, it, it doesn't fall into that. Your first thought isn't that's disrespecting the flag, you know? Right. But technically, it Te should be. According to the... Right. right. There's nothing in here that says like, you know, this chapter takes precedence over over this chapter. Who, and who like, wrote these articles? Who, who wrote these rules? Um, that's a good question. Probably Ulysses, Ulysses Grant. Grant, 1870. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me find out. <laughs> you mean Haram? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Haram Ulysses. Let's see. Uh, on that. So prior to Flag Day. June 14th, 1923, neither the federal government nor the states had official guidelines governing the display of the United States flag. What year was that? On that, hold on, on that date, the National Flag Code was constructed by the representatives of over 68 organizations. Uh, basically, the National Americanism Commission of the American Legion on June 14th, 1923. Oh, so it's been a while. Okay. Which, hold on. On June 22nd, 1942, the code became public law. Uh, maybe that changed. So there's, it looks like there's been like a, a bunch of amendments and stuff too. It says the Freedom to Display the American Flag Act of 2005 prohibits real estate management organizations from restricting homeowners from displaying the flag. So that's cool. Well, we are also one of maybe a handful of countries that are big and about displaying our flag. Like majority yeah. of the world, you're not going into England and there's people with Union Jacks hanging outside their house. It's just not like a, it's yeah. not a thing. Like you just don't. There are some countries that are big on it, but we're definitely the. Fuck yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're the best, right? If the if the Ravens finished last in the division, are you flying a Ravens flag on your antenna down the street? Like you can be like, ah, not really proud of that. <laughs> but when you're the best, we don't got to show you the best. We don't finish last. We don't. <laughs> but if you did, is my point. Like you said, the Union Jacks thing, like that's that's who we separated from 
Right. Well, I mean, they're they have their own. I mean, right, but they lost us, so we're going to wave the flag. They're not going to be like, ah, we lost. They're probably the biggest colonizing country in modern times that's ever existed. Like, England has owned so much land. Why wouldn't you want to, like, hell yeah, we took over all this shit. This was us. Because it's not great, I guess. I mean, we do a lot of not great things either, you know. No, I mean, just, yeah, that's true. I don't know. I was going to say, like, you could brag about having 400 acres, but if it's in Antarctica, you're not going to be like... Fuck nah, yeah. that's the best I got. Yeah. <laughs> well, be like, fuck yeah. 